Hey guys, Israel here with another knife review for all you knife collectors and enthusiasts and users. Uh, today I have the HNK Ally knife. All right, and this is a small frame lock. And uh, here's a, a look at the, the knife itself. You can see the uh, very large opening hole. All right, and the price tag on this was $34. And the blade length, well, if you measure, you know, include this part to the tip, it's uh, 2.8 inches. But if you measure from the beginning of the edge to the tip, uh, then it's 2.5 inches. All right. And the weight on this is uh, just under 3 ounces. Um, you see it's very slim. So it's a small, small handy knife. And uh, here's the box that comes in. You see HNK, uh, the famous firearms company. Uh, they actually, you know, they don't make it. They just sell it, okay? This is actually made by Benchmade, okay? But uh, Benchmade actually has this uh, made in Taiwan, okay? So it is made in Taiwan by uh, whatever subcontractor uh, works for Benchmade over there. Okay, so you can expect... Um, you know, in my experience, knives from Taiwan have a little bit better quality than the Chinese knives, but a little bit lesser quality than the Japanese knives. So uh, overall, you know, uh, for, for a moderate price knife, you know, that's fine. The steel this is made of is uh, OS-8 steel. And OS-8 is a Japanese-made stainless steel. Um, I like OS-8. It's definitely, you know, I think it's an appropriate steel for a, for a moderately priced um, small utility type knife. You can see the frame lock mechanism right there and the opening hole. Uh, it's fairly easy to open. Now you gotta make sure with a frame lock you gotta make sure you're not accidentally pressing on the frame when you're trying to open it, okay? Um, but for a small knife uh, it's fairly easy, fairly easy to open. And they're calling this a modified clip point, according to H and K. Might look like a drop point. You know, they're calling it modified clip point. And you can see it's it's a, a combo edge. You can see the serrations there. It it does not come in plain edge. Okay, so you know they stole a uh, <laughs> they they stole a, something from Gerber, enforcing you to have a combo edge. And it's the rest of it's a partial hollow grind. You see the bevel there, the swedge there, and it has a black coating. I'm pretty sure that's a Teflon coating. All right, and you see the pocket clip is here. It comes right side tip up carry. It appears to be adjustable, as so I can see the screws there for left side tip up carry. And it has a very, very small glass breaker at the end of that. Um, I've heard that it doesn't work too well. I've read in some reviews, but, you know, I haven't tried bashing out glass with it. And, um, you know, it doesn't really take up any space, so, you know, I, I don't really care that much. Um, it has a lanyard slot there, and a lot of people like to put a lanyard on a small knife like this just so it's easier to get out their pocket. So, there's the lanyard slot. Now, the, uh, the steel of the handle itself, obviously it's a metal handle. And the steel is a uh, 420 for the handle steel. And you see it as uh, those circular cutouts. Those are just for lightness and uh, a, little bit, a little bit better grip like that. And it does have a little thumb ramp with some fairly smooth jimping on, on the thumb ramp there. But uh, it, is, it is a nice shape for your light utility work. All right now, the, the initial sharpness of this is actually uh, very sharp. It's not razor sharp, but it's very close, pretty close to razor sharp. All right, and the the lockup, it's very solid. There's there's no blade play uh, whatsoever on the one I got. Very solid, and obviously the frame lock is is nice because uh, the the tighter you're holding the knife, um, the more locked locked it is. Okay, so I like the frame lock and um, for slimness. Now the alignment of the knife, um, I don't know if you can see, but uh, the one I got, it has pretty much perfect alignment. 
Um, I'm not sure if that's just the one I got or if they're all like that, but very, very nice alignment on it. Uh, all right, now let me give you a size comparison of the Ally with uh, another well-known uh, small knife. All right, this is my Spyderco Delica. All right, a very, uh, very popular small knife, slightly less than three inches. All right, so how does, how does the size compare with the HNK knife? Well, you see uh, the Delica is actually slightly bigger, all right? It's slightly longer, all right? And the Delica itself, you know, the Delica itself is a pretty small knife, okay? So if the Delica is actually, uh, you know, bigger and longer than the H&K, that should give you a good idea of uh, basically how, how small and handy the H&K is. And, that you know, that's, that's the whole idea of this knife to be, uh, a very small, slim, light EDC utility type blade uh, for those people who maybe have a job requirement where they are, are not able to whip out uh, a large blade for whatever reason. You need something low profile. Uh, this would be perfect for that task. And at $34, that's a moderate, a moderate price, not, not going to kill you. And uh, good steel, good lockup, good alignment. Pretty nice knife for the price, I'd say. All right, so the H&K Ally knife. Overall, I would definitely recommend it if you have a need for a smaller type blade due to the solid, the, the frame lock, the slimness, the lightness, the nice utility function of the blade, the good steel, um, nice initial sharpness. Uh, a, a good price for Aus 8 Taiwanese made knife. Um, it's just very solid. All right, so, and you know, it's cool that it's sold by a gun company, you know, let's, uh, let's support our firearms companies too. And uh, large size opening hole, so very easy deployment. And I would regard this as basically a small utility knife, like you're gonna be doing probably a lot of, you know, opening packages and boxes and stuff like that with this, cutting small cordage, really any, anything you could think of. It's kind of a modern day, modern day pocket knife. All right, so. H&K Ally Knife Frame Lock. Uh, I do recommend it if you need one. And uh, this has been Israel. Stay tuned for many more knife reviews, weapon reviews, everything like that. And thank you for watching. All right, and I am out of here. Peace out, dudes.